Good evening and welcome to the Hereford Times Health and Social Care Awards in partnership with the University of Worcester. I don't think celebrating the hard work of health and social care workers has ever been more important. I can only imagine the hours they've had to work and the things they must have seen during this pandemic. I hope for a few hours this evening our finalists can put their feet up and celebrate everything that they've achieved. These awards would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors. They continue to champion these awards during these challenging times and have helped ensure they can go ahead online tonight. I'd like to thank our title sponsor, the University of Worcester, and our category sponsors, Harrison Clark Rickabies, Herefordshire and Worcestershire Clinical Commissioning Group, and Y Valley NHS Trust. Your awards host this evening is very used to being on your screens. He'll be instantly recognisable to you as the health editor at Good Morning Britain and for his appearances on The Lorraine Show with his slot The Pulse, where he looks at the health topics that have been discussed in the media that week. Please welcome Dr Hilary Jones. Thank you, John. Well, welcome to the Hereford Times Health and Social Care Awards, which I'm absolutely thrilled to be hosting, albeit remotely through the medium of this small screen. On to the awards themselves then. The Hereford Times have been sent some messages of good luck and appreciation for the finalists tonight. Here is the first message from Dr Phil Hammond. Hello, gorgeous, lovely health and care workers from Hereford and surrounding areas. How are you doing? Uh, I'm Dr Phil Hammond. I've worked in the NHS for 33 years and I've never known anything like it. Uh, this year, you really have gone above and beyond. Um, everybody's clapped you on a Thursday night, but it's now the time to clap each other, celebrate the extraordinary commitment and compassion uh, you've shown through these very, very unusual times. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Now, our first category this evening is the Child and Adolescent Healthcare Award sponsored by Harrison Clark Rickabies. The award was open to an organisation, department or individual that specialises in the care and treatment of children and adolescents within Herefordshire. The finalists are Caroline Amos, an epilepsy nurse at the County Hospital, who was a true professional and truly caring person as she helped a family cope with the seizures of their teenage son. Joe Griffiths. Joe's job at Herefordshire Council is to make sure children get the support they need to move on to higher education and fulfil their aspirations. She's passionate about the children and their families. And Hilary Jones. What are the chances of that? Someone else having a brilliant name like Hilary Jones, a woman with a good boy's name. Hilary is head of Herefordshire's virtual school, whose job it is to make sure each of the 300 or so children in care that they deal with achieve the best educational outcome they possibly can so that their life dreams can come true. To announce the name of the winner from Harrison Clark Rickabies, head of health and social care, Rebecca Leesk. We're delighted to be sponsoring this award and I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the Child and Adolescence Healthcare Award is Caroline Amos. Thank you so much for watching the Hereford Times Health and Social Care Awards 2020. I do hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. It's been brilliant. Good night.